Greetings from HPC in Dayton, Ohio. My name is Sean Steinley. I'm the CEO of HPC Fire Inspired. Good afternoon, Greg Steck, Director of Engineering, HPC Fire Inspired. Good afternoon, Chad Ewing, National Director of Sales and Marketing here at HPC Fire Inspired. Welcome to Episode 2, Fun with Fire, where we talk about everything and anything to do with fire. In today's episode, we're going to discuss the difference between ignition systems. We have over 400 CSA certified full appliances. And what that means is the burner, the pan, and the ignition systems were all certified together at CSA. Some of our competitors or other manufacturers will only certify components. And that's a big difference because there's a lot of variables when you start assembling those in the field. First, we're going to talk about the matchlet system that's here. Chad's going to talk about the push button FPPK. And Greg Steck is going to talk about the electronic ignition plus the electronic ignition with the high low Bluetooth smart app. Again, all appliances are fully certified. Uh, the pet and burners and the pans have a lifetime warranty on it. And we are all certified for the new CSA ANSI standards for 2020. So let's talk a little bit about the match lit. The match lit here has a pan, also has the uh, Penta burner, which is a patented product for HPC, gives it a nice campfire effect has a raised tub, so as the water comes in, it runs off into places that uh, doesn't hurt the appliance, and it runs them off the, the system. Uh, again, it comes up to 65,000 uh, BTUs. It has a adjustable, flexible length uh, uh, hose. Uh, our, our units, different from some of our competitors and other manufacturers, comes with this valve mounting bracket. The reason why this is important, this keeps it stationary, so when you're turning this off and on, it tends to to move the valve inside and can kink the flex line, which we've seen other, other uh, uh, appliances in the marketplace have issues down the road, they wear out. So this will keep this stationary and not allow that wear and tear on that flex line. Also, uh, the option to come with a uh, paver kit. Uh, this paver kit can go to eight to 12 inches. Um, again, you know, we, we strive for safety in all of our appliances from matchlet to the FPPK FPPK push button to electronic ignition. So we are inspired for safety and we innovate for your lifestyle. So we really focus on the safety piece and then while we, we do introduce the technology. So all these units come uh, with the built app. The built app, you can go and log into the built app and download HPC fired appliances and it'll give you 3D instructions to put assemble the uh, appliances in the field. Uh, also allow you to run through some troubleshooting in case you do have some trouble with the appliances in the field. So that's for the matchlet. I'm going to turn it over to Chad to talk about the push button FPPK. Thanks, Sean. Uh, so today we have the FPPK, uh, that is the push button flame sense, uh, with our uh, Penta burner here. Uh, as Sean mentioned prior, lifetime warranty on all burners. This unit comes fully assembled, uh, burner, pan, and an ignition box. It uh, includes in this is um, the spark igniter uh, with a thermocouple, the safety pilot valve. Uh, it has flame sensing technology. Uh, what that is, is if the pilot inside goes out, the gas will shut off. Uh, to ignite the, the FPPK unit, you uh, push this button in here and then push the igniter button over here. This is a perfect unit for uh, fire pits that do not have electricity. It's operated off the, the battery there, so it's a perfect fire pit if you don't have the electricity run. Uh, with this knob here, once your fire pit's started, you can adjust the flame height all the way down or all the way up uh, as well. Uh, as Sean mentioned in the matchlet, it also comes with a 36 inch whistle free flex line uh, as well. Uh, we talked about the patented Penta burner. An additional accessory here is um, the FPPK uh, mounting bracket. Uh, it helps for some of your hardscapes where you, you would um, cement this into your pit and then slide your unit into that. That way, uh, if you ever had to do any change outs, it, it makes it easy for that. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Greg to talk about our EI units. Thanks, Chad. So I'm going to talk a little bit about our electronic ignition uh, fire pit insert. Uh, again, this comes fully assembled. Now, this is our Cadillac. We've been dealing with electronic ignition fire features since 2003. Uh, developed a lot of technologies over the years, and this is our latest version that we launched in uh, 2016. Uh, it's fully automated in, in the sense that you can use a remote control, uh, a, a Bluetooth device, 
or a whole house system. And I'll, I'll run through some of those uh, options here in a minute. Um, the way it operates is, is basically when you go to start the fire pit up, you're going to flip a wall switch, a uh, remote control, or even a, a smart device to start the unit. Uh, when, it, when it does fire up, it's going to, it uses a safety uh, intermittent pilot system. So what it's going to do is, is uh, uh, power a hot surface igniter. It lights the pilot flame. Once the pilot flame is proven by the thermocouple, much like uh, the unit that Chad spoke of, at that point it's going to say, okay, it's safe to turn on a main burner, and we'll fire the main burner on it up at that point. Fire pit's running, everything's fine. During that point, while you're relaxing with your family, uh, enjoying the fire pit, there's a lot of communication, safety communication going on still between the, 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 the microprocessor within the control box of the fire pit and, and the, either the remote control or the app. It's two-way communication going on there. So if there's any trouble at all with the fire pit, it's going to alert you either via flash on a remote or if you've got a smart device, it's going to send you an error code to say, hey, maybe the, maybe the unit's overheating, uh, might be a thermocouple problem, things of that nature. At that point, uh, we recommend just, that you contact the service if, if that happens. Uh, so we got we got two options as far as the electronic ignition goes. Uh, we have the on-off model, which is a simple, basic, standard model. Then we got one with integrated Bluetooth. What's key is integrated. A lot of our competitors have an add-on Bluetooth app or a or a system. Ours is actually integrated in the in the control box with the with the transceiver mounted. And HPC has its own HPC Fire app. Again, fully diagnostic, communicating with the fire pit at all times. Uh, with, with both of the units, it, it's available with, with a number of options. One is the power that you have at your site. If you got 120 volt, obviously we would just use a simple plug into an outlet type there. If you, have a, if you need 24 volts, no problem. We can just modify the unit to, to handle that side of it as well. Uh, both units comes in all the shapes and sizes of pans. Again, be it a, a round, rectangle, a square, and the, the different shapes and linears. We have a different, uh, seven different pan shapes uh, to offer. Uh, fully assembled, as I mentioned earlier. Um, what's nice about the on-off system is that it, if you've got a whole house system, a Crestron or something like that, you're able to operate the on-off system via that, that uh, uh, system itself. Um, with the Bluetooth from uh, high-low system, that's kind of a step up. What you're going to get there is, is again, you're going to get a standard remote. Uh, obviously, with the Bluetooth device, uh, uh, given a, a tablet or a uh, smartphone, you can fully control the fire pit. Again, we have our own app that comes free with the fire pit, and uh, again, fully safe. Uh, now, these units, because of the we're using a larger valve, will go clear up to 400,000 BTUs. Sounds like a lot, may sound scary, but trust me, we we designed it to be safe. Uh, probably the biggest concern is if it's windy, is it going to take the flame off to the side? Uh, no, we got we have a design that you know you're not going to buy an HPC unit and have flame that's three or four feet tall. We've always got egress in and around the pit in mind, so if the flame lays it over, it's, it's, it's within reason. And we also call out for set uh, cap lengths off to the side to, to keep people clear of the fire pit. Uh, start up and shut down, again, is, is very easy. It, it isn't like a wood-burning fire pit where you got to hang out and uh, you know monitor the pit, make sure it goes out safely. Simple uh, uh, flipping the wall switch off. Totally done. Uh, you can go inside and uh, with the others and, and enjoy the party, I guess. Thank you, Greg. Uh, thank you, Chad, for uh, discussing the FPPK. I took care of the matchlet, and, and Greg Steck had the uh, electronic ignition. As you can see, I have some multiple choices. We have over 400 certified CSA full appliances. Remember, full appliances. We also can do custom. Uh, so if you need a burner of a different shape or size, we can offer that in our, uh, in our custom group. Uh, just give us a call or visit our website. Uh, but that is it for our episode number two. So bye for now from HPC Dayton, Ohio. Have a great day.